بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أسأل الله كريم رب العرش العظيم أن يتولنا في الدنيا والآخرة We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty accepts our good and forgives our evil and protects us from kulli suwa makru May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas والثبات على سنة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. May Allah forgive us all and guide us all and help us to be better slaves of His. Subhanahu wa taala. Habatifillah. I wanted to talk about the importance of marriage, the importance of getting married in Islam. And as we know, Allah subhanahu wa taala mentions some of the muqasid. Or some of the objectives and some of the benefits and some of the things that he will place in a blessed marriage and that is muwadda and rahma muwadda and rahma so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions fi kitabihi al-aziz that he, 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 he gives between the servants he will place between them muwadda wa rahma. He will place between them love and mercy. And every believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and practicing his or her deen and being in this dunya is in need of love and mercy. Every person's in need of love and mercy. So one of the very important objectives and benefits of getting married is to have this muwadda and rahmah, have this love and this mercy between the spouses, meaning between a man and a woman or man and women, up to four. Also, a habatifillah when we look at the dunya and the test and the trials and tribulations, there's no doubt we need a comfort. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that when that the 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 spouses, they are a libas. You know, they are a, a covering, like a garment for one another. So they not only they do they cover one another's faults, not only do they comfort one another physically. Mentally and spiritually, but they are a covering to helping one another attain mental health and well being. Limada, why? And that is because through obtaining this mercy. And love and this connection, which is based Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then this right here is a source for dealing with the anxiety which is inherent in this dunya. The world is full of stress, the world is full of strife, the world is full of difficulty, the world is full of oppression and evil and daily assaults against your persons. As a man, there's assaults against your manhood daily in your job place, wherever you are. As a woman, there's assaults against your womanhood. And you deal with the stress and the difficulty of the dunya. But when you have a righteous spouse, then you have a protection. You have a means of dealing with that stress and anxiety. And also, a habatifillah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned 
that a person is married, meaning a woman is married for four things. And he mentioned beauty, he mentioned status, he mentioned uh, wealth, he mentioned uh, uh, the dean, the religion. And he says that the one who marries for the dean will be, you know, the successful one. Why? Because if you have children, you have the successful raising of children, bi'idnillah. You've taken the steps by having a righteous uh, woman who, who will help you rear righteous children, as well as you yourself and your role in re rearing those children. Um, if you have a righteous spouse, he or she can help you in practicing your deen, reminding you to do good, helping you by commanding the good and forbidding the evil. If a woman has a man who does not help her uh, in her wearing hijab and in practicing her Islam, then this is a disaster. And that means he's not doing his duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his duty to his wife. So it's very important for us to know and understand these important advantages and maqasid of getting married. And finally, I'd like to mention the importance of righteous companionship in general. Husn of sahbah that through marriage, you find the righteous, lawful companionship. All of us, we're human. Human beings are social creatures. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us. He created us to have the jama'ah, to have the society, to be a part of the ummah. And having a righteous spouse that you have a connection with helps to be for you to be a part of that and it helps you to be uh to deal with the the trials and tribulations of the dunya strengthening one another comforting one another caring for one another and we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil protect us from kuli suwa makru wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam